Hey guys, Catfights9 here, and it is a Telephone Toilet video. Today, I'm going to be playing Black Court Rescue Mission, which might be my final video of the installment. I might do one more montage, and oh, they'll basically clean up this whole saga of the Black Court Rescue Missions, which surprisingly has become quite successful. But this was another recommended topic that I'll that I'll talk about which can also be used in different areas of the map but we're just going to be fortifying a location well the best way to fortify a location right now I'm going to do the factory because I feel that the factory will have everything I need all the elements of defending an area really but I'll be doing it with a Hunvee. Now you could do it without the Hunvee. This, this sort of tip section. Oh yeah, look at all these people, sergeants. <laughs> Are they gonna be a little, a little up themselves? <laughs> no, they're not even saying so. That is disrespectful. <laughs> okay, guys, we're at the factory. Now, seeing that I brought this Hunvee, I'm gonna place it right here. You might be thinking, oh, why not put it out of the way or stuff like that. Now, if you place it here, it can be used as extra cover. Oh! It could have been used as extra cover. <laughs> or it could have also been used as light because nighttime gets very dark. And those lights, even if it doesn't have a driver, it will stay on. And in this area, if we're all just ducking in here basically shooting out. If it's too dark, the Russians or zombies or whatever can and will get the drop on you if you're too blind. Now, just like I said in the other video about the XP grinder, same with Jiggy, you gotta wait for the first wave to be over. Now, seeing that these guys are sort of in attack mode, offense mode, I'm gonna pop out a little bit. Okay. And I got a massive gun. Okay, uh, the most dangerous part is at the start of the raid. So you, when the raid starts, you really want to be in cover. Well, not the raid, but the attack starts. That's why I started off inside a building. If I had my Hunvee still around, I would have been outside of the building because that would have been used as cover, but if you got a normal car like a Jeep that has no good protection, don't use that, only use that for the lights. Okay, that's good. Looks like we're all good here. It could be used as an extra set of armor. That's one of the only, well, the only advantage that having one star can give you. Now, also be aware that the Russians can counter-attack in less than a minute from this flag being up or more well just over a minute so you gotta keep that in mind for prepping your defense if you got multiple Humvees set them up around this entrance area right here who's that guy? it's another general but he has not got <laughs> the Delta Force outfit so if there's multiple Hunvees, oh, place them around. It can also stop Russians from barging in here. The only female I've ever seen in this game. Oh, gee. yeah, flare. Flares are good. Nighttime, flares can show you where stuff are and where. Hold up. Oh my god. Yep. You see, you popped out for too long. Now it's important during this stage that you stay indoors, but you can also pop your head out here and there. Pick off, pick off a few one by one, but you really shouldn't be outside during this because you'll have a very slim chance of survival. Oh look at all them up there, thinking they're so safe. Well, they are. So to whoever jeep that was, I just shot it. That's basically it. But also it is good that 
there's all this equipment in here so if you do pop your head out you're almost dead here's a little tip for those newcomers it just looks like a factory nothing else you come up these stairs and there is actually a med a medic bay so you can get your health to full once again and go out and have no real disadvantage hold up I haven't been to the top here uh, so I thought nothing really hello there Okay, good. Sometimes I can take full damage. <laughs> That's basically everything that I gotta say. Numbers here doesn't really matter because I've seen like a team of six or ten or whatever out in the middle there and basically get eaten up. Oh, you see this? This guy noticed it good. I don't know. Let me show you how effective it is. See? We'll hide behind it. Oh my god, he moved. <laughs> that wasn't a very reliable cover because the driver <laughs> was sort of moving and the people were pushing it. That's sort of how my Humvee got destroyed was just people were pushing it and hopping on top of it. For some reason, vehicles like cars, jeeps, Humvees, and Chinooks are very glitchy about that moving objects having people just run all over it oh, oh he shot me friendly fire that was not nice flipped over jeep should really I don't know what they should do but maybe they should just make the Humvees have something that makes them stick on the ground because in real life they definitely will not flip over like that those things weigh tons because of all the armor that they've got. Just a car alone weighs a whole lot, but a Humvee, a military style Humvee, that is very heavy. <laughs> so they won't just flip or do like really big jumps. But this tactic can also be used in other places like the docks. You put the Humvee in the path of all the Russians and they'll get pinned against the Humvee or the Jeep and they can throw a grenade and basically destroy all of them but at least at the rank of the general I can do whatever the hell I want I'm gonna look at this assault see here if you do have the manpower I have seen that there's been great success if you put people up on the roofs or put people at the entrances of the factory put them around the the jeep entrances and all that and that basically keeps them away from the main building, which is this building. Keep the combat far away from this building, so you've got enough room to retreat, regroup, rearm, reheal. And also, if most of your troops are out there guarding the, um, guarding these, like, we're good on, not that guy. <laughs> a, le a lieutenant, seriously. But, yeah. It is good to have that. It's also good to have troops around here because when they do start to deploy then the troops around here would generally be safe. There might be a few Russians that can get shot on you. But if you put your troops around here while they come down they will get eaten up. Hey, look at that. I only just made it without me bullets. <laughs> shot at me but if you had it there you see, if you block them, it'll take longer for them to get here. The ones up on, up on that, what's it called? The roof, having some pretty good fire. So, you know, those are just some tactics. Could also be used of the docks where you put people on the roofs, or people up towers. But really, most of the time you don't have a say in it. So, if you just do these things automatically, then the whole world would be good again <laughs> and you would be just a little bit safer because no matter how many Russians there are teamwork and tactics are the main thing that is going to save you guys' life and make you victorious because at the end of the day we are spec opsers in this game so mission comes first <laughs> I'm a captain yeah well me and this guy are generals look at me short look at me short I'm the captain now. So we look the same. Yep, we are the same. 
Now this is what I'm saying, it's getting really dark, you can't hold a torch while you shoot, so you gotta get out of flare. Okay, make sure it's not the grenade. I'm just gonna throw one around here. There we go. Once it gets darker, that will really light up and it'll really make a big difference. And it may even mean the mean the difference of you winning or losing this battle. Because most of the time you don't have this many people at the factory, they're mostly all at the docks. Because the docks do require a whole lot of people. Where the factory, you can just take it on your own and then get out of here before the attacks come back. Where in the docks you can do it alone, you have to be pretty pro, like a major or above or something like that. By a pretty good major or above. So, that's just my thought of it. It may not be the best tactic. Oh yeah, look at this. These people were outside when the first invasion happened, I think. Well, the first attack happened. Oh my god. A tip for when you get this gun, if you have it in your hand, you run really slow. Okay, this is another thing I was talking about in the other one. You see that guy out there? It's not safe. I'm a corporal rank. I just rush out there and try and help him. Okay. It's too late, but if I went out there when there are troops all around us, I would have... It would not have been very pretty. <laughs> I would have died. Is this is this mine? I don't know where mine went. It just flung to oblivion. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little bit more of a glitchy thing that happens. Hold up. Oh. Okay, I don't know if that was a glitch, but sometimes you fling really, really badly in the Chinook. And also, when you're in the Chinook, sit down, you fools, because you will get flung. What? Woof. I don't know why people use cool signs out of like, woof, dog, uh, ghost, phantom, this sort of stuff. So, <laughs> really, cool signs like that. Realistically, in real life, cool signs are like Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. Hotel, that sort of stuff, Omega, not, <laughs> like, woof, all this sort of stuff, name stuff. But I'm pretty sure if the enemy is the same language as you are, they're probably gonna know what a woof is. But, bravo, it's like, oh yeah, no woof, oh, might not engage woof because they're, they're a bit tough, I'm gonna go after this. This group here, they're called the, the trees. <laughs> they don't sound very tough, so we're going to go for them where if it's just called Alpha Bravo Charlie, it basically has the same amount of fear with all of them, so that's just a just an idea. Change it to actual military call cool signs. Or even check out the and something alphabet, the it's been a while since I was taught the something alphabet, something something alphabet, you know, <laughs> that NATO uses, but all militaries use it. If you do use cool signs like that, it'll be a true military experience. And you're probably going to ask, why aren't I claiming my star? I just don't feel like it just yet, guys. <laughs> Look at my sad face. You know, no, I don't want it just yet. Whoa. You guys see that? Whoa. Well, it flips over like that. No, no longer Blackport rescue mission, everyone. Chinook, Chinook rescue mission. <laughs> okay, I hope that guy, uh, this video, opened the guys' eyes to tactics and positioning of people and teamwork in general. Now this will improve your chances of survival, I assure you, and success. So that's all. That's all basically. Cat Fossus 9 out.